Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you um, the makeup products that I've been using every day. And some of these products you've seen before, some you haven't, but either way, these are the products I've been using every single day. So it's it's like just like my current favorites beauty video. Um, it's not like a monthly favorites or anything like that. So. Okay, I'm just gonna get started. I usually don't use foundation, but lately I've been just trying it out, so um, I still don't use it every day, like not even near that. I just use it sometimes. So I have Clinique's um, foundation here. I don't know the exact name. My color is 5B or 6B. I can't tell. I think it's 6B neutral. And um, it's just a really good foundation actually and as you can see this is just the sample size but um, I think I might want to get the full version of this because it's a really light foundation you can barely feel it um, and sometimes I don't even use it on my whole face so long story funny story kind of but I lost my concealer and um, I haven't had time at all this year to buy a new one so um, I've been using foundation instead on the spots that I need um, some coverage in. Um, so that's kind of what I've been using it for and it blends so well into my skin and it's just great. I don't want to ramble too much about this but I'll let you guys know if I end up buying the full version. And to set that, um, I use L'Oreal's True Match Super Blendable Powder. And this is in N3 Natural Buff. Um, so it's just a really nice powder. Um, it's really good for being a drugstore powder. And it comes with a little sponge here. So I've been using the side. And it comes with a mirror too. But I don't want to blind you guys. So yep. So um, the sponge isn't too bad. Since like I'm usually in a hurry before school and stuff. Um, I just use that and it's really quick to set over the foundation um, or to set over concealer when I use concealer before I lost it. It's really good. Not much to say about it. Um, yeah, very light. Um, doesn't get flaky or anything. So perfect for the cold weather too. Um, then I have this lip gloss and it's also from Clinique. Um, I don't use the lipstick side, it's like a duo, but I just use the lip gloss, ugh, I can't talk today. I just use the lip gloss side, and, um, as you can see, it's a really pretty peachy pink color, and it's a little bit sticky, I have to admit, but, um, I still really like it, and it has SPF 15 too, which is great, because, um, you really can't tell how much the sun is like affecting your skin or like in this case your lips but it still counts and yep it's a very pretty color and I've been liking this like I've just been using it um not every day but a lot of day a lot of days I'm going in random order sorry guys it's another Clinique product um because I just get a lot of samples from Clinique, but this is Clinique's Lash Doubling Mascara. And it looks like this. I've used this in a couple of my videos already. Um, the wand, it doesn't look like anything spectacular, but what I really love about this mascara is it makes your lashes, like, it lengthens them and stuff, but it still keeps them really natural looking. And... I really don't know about you guys, but for me, like, I just don't like the look of, like, fake-looking long lashes. Like, yeah. Um, that's just not me. At least not right now, anyway. It could change. But I love this mascara. Very pretty, very natural-looking. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is, like, a sample size, but it's been lasting forever. So, that's great. Eyeliner every day. I've been using the Revlon Colorstay Eyeliner in brown. Um, it's a twist up pencil brown. It's less harsh than black, which is um, great for um, school and like when you 
you know, when you want to define your eyes without making them look too harsh. So, yeah. It's very similar to the MAC Technical. The MAC Technical is a bit smoother, but I ran out of that a while ago, which is why I got this. Um, but I think it's a very good substitute eyeliner. And, yeah, you know, it's a drugstore eyeliner, but it's pretty good. Um, still smudges somewhat, but, um, pretty long-lasting other than that. Now, to set over eyeliner on the lower lash line, I still like using MAC Satin Taupe as always. Um, you guys have seen this in my videos. It's just a really pretty brown-purple color, and I'm not going to talk too much about this because you guys have probably heard me talk about it before, or you've heard other people on YouTube talk about this before, but it's a really really pretty color and um, yeah it'll stay on your lower lash line all day or on your lid all day you know wherever you want to put it um, yeah uh, MAC eyeshadow is very amazing quality and yeah I use this like um, on a lot of days when I want to set in my eyeliner not every day but uh, a lot of days because I really like it and my other um, favorite MAC eyeshadow is MAC Naked Lunch. This is actually my very first one. And it's just a really pretty champagne color. I've also mentioned this before. I like using this over the lid a lot too. Um, I mean a little bit, but you know what I mean. So it just gives a really nice shimmery effect. You know, it's very pretty. Like, I just like it. It adds some... Um, special brightness to your eyes and it kind of wakes them up for school you know um if you guys have to stay up late like with me you know doing homework or studying yeah this eyeshadow is great um let's see what should i do next um for blush again you guys have definitely heard me talk about this before um yeah, this is NARS Blush in Orgasm, and I've talked about this so many times, like, my first video was on a NARS Blush review, even, and this is an Orgasm, uh, I already said that, but it's just a really pretty peachy pink color. I would be totally lying if I said I didn't use this every day, because I do use this, like, every day, like, almost. Every day I wear blush. Usually, I just go towards this one just because it's such a pretty color. Like, it's just perfect for my skin tone. It's really pigmented. Um, the packaging's like really good quality. You know, um, the fallout is like way less compared to most blushes I've tried. And it's just an overall amazing blush. Like, just NARS the company. Just this particular color. It, I don't know. I know it's like all hyped out. I'm, I mean, I know there's like a big hype on it, but uh, in the case for this blush, it's really true, the hype. I really like this blush and I'll probably like it forever. It'll probably be in every single one of my favorites videos for a long time. Yeah, that's how much I love this blush. It looks even prettier over foundation powder, which I've been using sometimes. So, yeah. But even without it, it's super pigmented, super pretty. Um, it has, like, very little sparkle, but it's a good thing, trust me. It just, like, makes your face really awake and um, bright and rosy, um, peachy pink. So, uh, I've rambled long enough about that. For chapstick... Of course, I still love my Burt's Bees, but I've also really been liking my EOS Lip Balm. It's an egg-shaped um, chapstick in Strawberry Sherbert. Um, just tastes amazing. Uh, it's not like I eat it, of course, but you guys know what I mean, and yeah, it's great. I also forgot to mention for blush, sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I like using Maybelline's Dream Loose Blush because it's in 25 rose petal just because um, cream blush is easier to apply than um, powder blush and it's just like really quick I'll just like open this and swipe it on rub it in 
and I can go and leave, you know? It's a really pretty color. Um, instead of a peachy pink effect like the NARS blush, this will give you more of a rosy effect. And it has a little bit more sparkle to it than the NARS blush. But I still really like it. And yeah, sometimes I'll use this and set it with the NARS powder blush. Last few things. For nail polish, I've been liking um, these Savina nail colors. Um, this one is in Pink Diamond and it's what I have on my nails right now. It's just like a really sheer peachy pink and why I like this is because it's perfect for school. Um, it's sheer but it gives your like nails a little extra sparkle but it's not overdoing it at all. It's great for every day, um, you know, if you're going like somewhere casual or like something like school. It's great. And I like this other Savina nail color in Petal to the Metal because it's just a really pretty, um, neutrally silvery kind of bronzy goldy color you know it's like a mix kind of and um yeah it's just also like very neutral goes with a lot of things perfect for school you know um it's fall time so you know usually the neutral colors neutral darker colors are better and yeah um, I really like this, and you can get these Savina nail colors from Nordstrom Rack. So last but not least, I have Pink's Warm and Cozy Body Mist, and I have the sparkling one, the Shimmer and Shine one, so like, if you rub it in, like, it'll, like, leave some sparkles. Anyways, this is just an amazing, amazing vanilla scent. Like, it's sweet, but not overpoweringly sweet, and it's, um, it's just, uh, amazing. Like, I know you guys will love this. I guess, whoa, totally just dropped that. And this has been, like, my go-to fall scent so far, and I really like it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, uh, bye.